everybody, I'm Dr. Joel Parker and this is Whiteboard Wednesday. This week we're talking about putting fun into dysfunctionality. And what I mean by that is that what we've got most often in many private practices is a whole group of people that came from all kinds of backgrounds and all kinds of dysfunctional families and all this kind of stuff and all kinds of courses they went to and universities and all that kind of stuff and we're dumping them all in together in this building to work together. And it can, if not handled properly, can create quite a dysfunctional team. And what I mean by that is a dysfunctional team can get all kind of reactive and people can be reacting to each other and kind of be, you know, emotionally negative and so forth. And that can get really, really draining. What's needed is to get the fun back into this so that the dysfunction goes away and get them focused on what really works. And that is gamifying your practice. What I mean by that is start looking at your practice, at your business as a game you're playing. You know, it's got players, it's got goals, it's got uh, opposing teammates of other practices or other businesses or even, you know, the challenge at hand in the economy. It's got scores you can track and all these kind of things. And what's being found is that if you can gamify a practice, you'll find that the, it becomes way more fun and the dysfunctionality just kind of dissipates. Just like a Super Bowl winning or a Stanley Cup winning hockey team or an Olympic gold medal winning hockey team, for example, you know, what you'll find is you've got the players that are focused on the goal, not on themselves individually and not on their dysfunctionality. Okay, so let's get the fun back into dysfunctionality and start by gamifying your practice. Here's your action steps. Number one, gamify your practice. Start looking at it like a game. Okay, what are we doing today? What's the game at hand? What's the monthly game, weekly game, daily game, things like that. Secondly, start tracking your score. Okay. Playing games without scores, that's called practice. And maybe that's what we need to do. We need to shift from veterinary practice into veterinary game. It's time, guys, right? We've been practicing for years. Let's make it a game, okay? And then finally, create a, a reward system for your staff that when you guys do, when your team goes above and beyond what you're expecting to do, when you hit or even surpass targets that you give them and goals, and when their standing in the game starts to rise up by a, you know, an amazing month that you had and so forth, then reward them. And a lot of times those rewards do not have to be monetary. They can be simple things like coffee cards or iTunes cards or movie tickets, gas tickets, things like that. And if you do happen to really knock it out of the park, then the odd $100 bill, $50 bill thrown around at your staff will have a profound effect. Okay, guys, so let's get the fun back into dysfunctionality. Let's have fun. Let's gamify it. Let's track the score and make some rewards. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you this week. Thanks very much for watching. By the way, a lot of the stuff we go over in the Power Team Builder Workshop, the day and a half workshop in Vancouver, Canada, Seattle, Washington, or Tampa Bay, Florida. And that's where we get into a lot more details and actually give you some uh, game building strategies and tools, tools and techniques to start working on. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next week.